Hey guys, it's Nate from 123 Fort Doors TV, and today we're going to talk about weapon carrying in Tennessee. Rifle carrying and other type of weapons too. You want for a good show? Stay tuned. They will bite you, by the way. Um, it's a nice one. Now, let's start with something simple. When everyone thinks of weapons in the modern era, they think of guns. Rifles and um, are legal to own in Tennessee, obviously. Now, that being said, you can own pretty much any type of rifle except or gun except machine guns and shot barreled, barreled rifles. Um, Regular 22 LRs, this is a long rifle, this is legal, for school hunting, shotguns, um, handguns, I don't own a handgun right now, my parents do, my family does, um, have some handguns, but I'm thinking about getting one eventually, but you can carry those without a permit in Tennessee, open or concealed, starting up July 1st, 2021, um, that being said, you have to be 21 to do it, and, uh, that also, when you're hunting and, tra and trapping, you can use rifles for that and self-defense. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all the, the, the gun rights here are for self-defense against animals or people trying to attack you in your own home or if they need that stuff like that. And hunting and also trapping, basically law for loose. You cannot go out and enjoy that carry and with the intent to go armed. That is illegal. So don't do that and yeah. That's that's that. Okay, now everyone next everyone's next favorite, blades. Um be a, a while back like post 2014 in Tennessee you cannot carry a blade over 4 inches. That has changed. Now, not, not a lot of people know this here in Tennessee, and I know that from experience, but it is true, and I can confirm that I've, there are people that know it here, like especially police officers. I've talked to them about this, and they seem to, they know the blade length laws, and it, what I'm going to tell you is Google also confirmed this on from government websites, which is very reliable. Um, you, you can carry any size length on your knives. That would include machetes, swords. This is a gladius sword. Fixed blade knives. Um, any other fixed blade, like especially when folding knives, pocket knives. That being said, there is one knife you don't want to carry that's illegal here. Um, to carry, but you can still own them and in your house. You just can't carry them. Carrying is different than owning. Um, you can possess them in your house. You can use them in your house. You can't carry them uh, outside your house. And that would be switchblades or stilettos. This is a stiletto. Um, switchblade is another type. Stiletto is a type of switchblade. It's a different style switchblade. Then you got butterfly knives, which are also illegal to carry here in Tennessee. Um, just know, know, know that if you're going to do that, know that not a lot of people know it and you just want to be educated about them. So, um, but you're not going to get in trouble. So, yeah. See, there's no blade length restriction in Tennessee. Now that I showed you some evidence about that to confirm that it's true from Google, um, there is government websites. Basically, what do you, what, why would you carry a knife on you in Tennessee? All right, number one, knives, they come in handy regardless of size. Fishing, herping, hunting, camping, you can, knives are very handy. Um, this is machete, people use these for survival. This is an Ozark um, brand machete, it's good for uh, self-defense and survival and probably chopping wood. And you can, uh, as you can see, has a little saw on there that that's actually very handy. I have to do a view on this machete. 
Um, stuff like this is handy for sawing wood. If you need to build a shelter or fire pit or whatever, or stuff like that. But yeah, that, that's, that is what it is. Swords, people carry them for self in the car for self-defense. One thing I forgot to mention about the gun thing is, uh, you can carry them in your car. You can have a, you can have a loaded gun in your car. You do have to, but you do have to tell the cop if you get pulled over that you have a loaded gun in your car. Um, but yeah, that's that. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so what is a blunt weapon or a bluntage weapon? Anything from like clubs, hammers, batons, nightsticks, nunchucks, and brass knuckles. Those are all bluntage weapons. Um, these are good for self defense, depending on where where you can, depending what you can carry. Now in Tennessee, um, you can carry a baton only, you don't need a permit for it, a belly club or a baton, you need to have a certification and you have to take a $50 class on how to do that. Yeah, I know it doesn't seem like much. I didn't take the class, but there's more to it because I'm thinking about taking the class though, but I know. I know it's required if you want to carry a baton or a billy club. This is a billy club BOGO. Um, it's a, uh, they give you two of them for the price of one, $19.99. They give you a second one free. It's not two for like $19.99. It's you get two. It's not that, like, it's not the worth the $19.99 both equal. They're pretty good things for, for uh, like one of them is worth $19.99. You get the idea. But as for that, you said the next thing I want to talk about is nunchucks. Um, you can, I think you could carry these, but uh, you know, they're not really good. What they're not good in most situations. There are some situations where you can use them, like, but um, they're really for show. And I don't see you don't. You're not gonna see someone walking down Walmart supermarket parking lot doing this. Yeah, you're not gonna see someone doing that. Um, but even here in Tennessee, but you can, you, technically you could carry these in your car. I just, I don't know what the story with them is. Um, but I don't, but I would not understand why anyone would wanna carry these because it would be, be just kind of be pointless. Like literally pointless. Um, brass knuckles, those are illegal, um, but it is iffy. See, you can't use them. You can't possess them in your hand. You can't carry them. You can't even use them in your home. But you can't sell them unless what you do unless you're a, a store an authorized weapon dealer. And you can own them in Tennessee, I believe. Um, you just can't do anything with them. You just own them for cool factor. That's it. You can't hold. You can't even hold them in your hand and try punching things outside. You can't, no, it's, it's just one of them things you don't, you, you want to be the strictly, you want to stricken yourself from using, but you can have a cool factor. Um, so yeah, that's that. Hammers, yeah, hammers, um, just carry them, carry typical, they make self-defense hammers. I don't know what the story was, they are a blunt weapon, I imagine you'd probably need a baton permit for that. See, here it is. It is illegal to carry a baton or belly club with unless you're certified. Like I said, anyone can be certified with this. Um, and yeah, it costs 50, 50 bucks to take that class. Um, for all you Tennessee residents out there, I'll, if you want to know the full information on it or if you want me to direct you to uh, the website you can do it on, just text, just, you know, comment that and I'll, I'll put it down there and yeah, if you want to learn more about the time carry. Um, if, you're not, if you're out of state resident watching this or someone that doesn't live in Tennessee. Slingshots, legal. Compound bow and arrows, legal. Tomahawks and axes and hatchets, legal. Any sort of mace or pepper spray. Stun guns or tasers or whatever they're called these days. 100% legal.
You can't have machine guns or sp- explosive weapons or military style stuff, though. Which is understandable. I mean, who needs explosive weapons or machine guns or anything like that? But let's let's keep in mind that Second Amendments should be uh, um, basically appreciated and preserved in America. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment, share my content with others, and enjoy your Second Amendment. I'll see you next time in 1234 Doge TV. And thank you for watching.